Hey, oh my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Live here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Planko. We have a very, very jam-packed and exciting episode here for you today, as we are doing a bit of a go-kart spotlight. That is right, one of our main attractions to the city, the Street Fox Coffee Go-Kart Stadium. The full circuit is in themed and ready to go. I have let the guests in for this very special location and they and us will be riding the go-karts together across the entire Project Planko city. Now before we get started I just want to give a little bit of backstory to this. This was created by Beartastic and in fact this whole area was actually supposed to be divided into two plots. One area was for the Just Ribbon Barbecue Diner and Car slash Biker Shop. And then the other area was meant to be for Street Fox Coffee go-karts. I decided I would assign both of these to Beartastic and he is the creator of what we see here today because it might just be a little bit easier to manage the space and move things around a little bit. And he did a really good job at integrating both of them. I basically gave him like an 8,000 piece part limit for kind of the two mega builds combined because they were two hero plots. Then as he was doing such an amazing job, I also also said, hey, while you're at it, we have a giant strip in the go-karts downstairs that has absolutely zero theming. Do you want to finish that up for us too? And he went ahead and themed what was missing on the go-karts, where the go-karts already traversed the entire Planko City. That didn't need to be themed because it was driving down the streets and the theming is that of the city that's being built around it. So yeah, there was just some underground areas to the go-karts that lacked theming. So Bear went ahead and did that. So he had three legendary tasks here. He had to make a Street Fox Coffee go-kart boarding station and coffee shop. He had to make a Just Ribbon diner slash chop shop. And then he also had to theme the go-karts. And I think he did an absolutely impeccable job at doing all three of these. I have not gotten in here and taken a closer look. What you see in the B-roll is all that I've seen. I want to save taking a look at all the little Easter eggs and details for this spotlight. So I can't wait to get into it. So let's just do exactly that. Okay, welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Just Ribbon Barbecue Ribs. I have let the guests in. They are pouring in. This is incredible. As mentioned, this in entire massive plot was supposed to be divided into two buildings by giving him both uh, both of these builds. I figured he could divide that up however he wants. He actually did it exactly the way we kind of originally intended. The, the chop shop here, the coffee thing here. By giving him both, I gave him the freedom to kind of rearrange them however he wanted. But in fact, he just left it as is as is and did both so sure it works it works it works it works i like it the guests are already having a good time they are driving around on the go-karts here <laughs> and uh we're gonna do we're gonna join them just in a moment but first we have to take a look at these incredible builds from bear here so bob's chop shop i, I originally we had his name justin for just ribbon justin ribbon but i think he named him bob or something i don't i don't really know <laughs> we need the lore there bear um, he just handed me the park file back, so I don't really have uh, any specific details or information that he may have provided on the workshop link. So these uh, are all custom bikes built with Planet Coaster pieces. Extremely hard to do, and he did an amazing job doing that. You cannot, like what one of these bikes, I can't even select them. They're all merged into groups, but yeah, they're, they're pretty expensive in terms of park count, but he managed to pull it off in his uh, allotted park count limit. You got a little spiral staircase. Where does that take you up to? The motel rooms. You put any Easter eggs in here? Oh my God. <laughs> got the red, white, and blue America theme for the Just Ribbon. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I, I don't think you needed to do that, but you did it. I'm not going to uh, complain there. I like the little uh, details and uh, Easter eggs. Is there anything in room five? A double bed. I guess uh, Fizzy can have one. <laughs> All right. That's super cool. So yeah, the Just Ribbon, as you can see here, this chant, this is Chance drawing. This is her reimagining because there is no mascot for Just Ribbon. All we had was this. That's all we had to work off of was the shop. 
So we invented our own character. Welcome to the Plankoverse, Bob. He's got the Jess Ribbon belt. Yeah, Chant did an amazing job with that, reimagining him, still keeping with the theme of the America, red, white, and blue, star spangled, you know, all that good stuff. So with that, the build incorporates those colors as well, American flags. It's looking fantastic on the outside here, and I'm sure it's gonna be even better on the inside. So we got bikes all around the front, but before we go in, we have to go look at this. Bear has also designed these incredible custom vehicles using bigger wheels from Planet Coaster, merging them with vehicles and putting all these doodads on them to make these really tricked out insane rides. I don't even know how you do this, but it's cool and I'm a fan. So people are coming to the Just Ribbon and Foxy Racing like a like a car show, you know? All the cool people come here. This is the place to be in the city where you show off your rides and go for a ride. You literally come here to race. You get your coffee, you get your get all caffeinated, and then you get your adrenaline fix on the go-kart stadium. So let's go head on into Just Ribbon Bar here. I feel like we should do this at night and we will take a look at the exterior nighttime. You would have saw some shots of the exterior nighttime in the beaver roll anyways. But uh, there he is. He's ch chilling in the kitchen. Oh my God. Cooking up some ribs. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I love it. And they're actually serving the ribs. Hard at work there, serving the first ever guests in Project Planko to get served right here. This little kid. Congratulations. Welcome to Project Planko. Animatronics sitting at the benches. Love to see it. Cops are here just making sure nobody's, uh, you know, doing some illegal racing. <laughs> we have a little bartender and bar. Incredible. Really well done. And then, uh, as you can see here, this is a look at the exterior nighttime lighting. Very beautifully lit here. Making use of those TMTK where possible. This is just jaw dropping. We have benches outside, good use of those. So we have the fake ones inside, but then the guests can actually have a seat here. Oh, interesting. You decided to put the coffee shop on the backside outside. So we get the uh, coffee. I was wondering how he was going to pull that off because the interior is actually a queue. So you can't normally get uh, food and drinks while you're in queue. The guests cannot go to a shop if they're already AI programmed to walk down a queue. So this is actually a pretty good solution to still incorporate the coffee by having an, uh, an outdoor seating area. This is cool. Really, really cool. So the queue actually begins right here. As soon as you walk into the building, you are in queue. So we're going to do a queue walk and see what the diner is all about. We got jukebox. And uh, tons of seating. The guests are packing in line here. And we will actually have to revisit this later on when the full city is complete. Because obviously we're going to be racing through the city, but there's still not a lot of buildings. There's still a lot of missing buildings. And we have some voice acting that we would like to add to the pre-show of the go-karts. Oh, cool. Look at this. So we have like a garage for the queue and the racers are going by. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll talk about the voice acting in just a sec as we get into the shop. But we had some ideas for Foxy. And we get back into the, the cafe and there she is. This is also Chance Drawing. This is her reimagining of Street Fox Coffee. Uh, I think there was a bit of a miscommunication there. I asked Bear to put Street Fox behind the counter and he put the TMTK behind the counter. So I'm hopefully be able, should be able to put a path somewhere here. Hopefully I'll have to figure that out. That's a yeah, maybe out there. And we're going to trap the mascot, the real Foxy can even try to do that now. Wow. 
Uh, whoops. Can I pick her up? I can. Okay, so she's facing the wrong way. I don't know how I'm going to fix that. And she's also underground. <laughs> well, a problem for another day. I have to figure out how I'm going to get her to stand and face the guests. Uh, because it'd be cool just to have like a 3D version of her. An actual, you know, lifelike version of her instead of this. But we can still have this. We can move it off to the corner or something. It's good advertising. I like it. It is her coffee shop after all. They're making some scrambled eggs. Look at that. It's adorable. And so Sausage. So it's a cafe. You get coffee. Wow. Look at these coffee machines. I don't even know how you made that. What is that made out of? That's so cool. <laughs> so yeah, the idea is that we're going to put a speaker inside of her and have it like on periodic loops. So she periodically and randomly says different voice lines. We're going to have her pushing her coffee concoctions on the patrons in the queue. So we can give a little bit of a voice to Foxy. As you're in queue waiting for the go-karts, there's something a little bit more interactive that goes with uh, the Project Planko concept of, you know, reimagining these characters, bringing them to life, you know, giving them new drawings but also giving them a voice. And that way, you know, we have a little bit of uh, Foxy talking about coffee, talking about racing, and then you'll get that in the queue. So that'll be like something that we have something to look forward to in the future. Once all the actual buildings are in, because you can see like giant blue building there, racing the go-karts is going to be a lot more fun uh, when the whole city is complete. Well, uh, we'll do a revisit on this go-kart spotlight when it's at 100%. But as of right now, the circuit itself is definitely at 100%. Look at this, all custom pieces for each of the go-kart slots. I did not expect Bear to do that. That is definitely a nice touch. Wow, this is incredible. So maybe we should ride these at both day and night. I think we should start at day. That guy just won. Congratulations. Awesome. Uh, winners get to do victory laps. That, yeah, so we're gonna have to wait a hot minute. Here's the exterior. I love this giant coffee pot here. That's so cool. Big kettle there. Uh, the build is just immaculate. The builds, I should say. This whole area looks just incredible. And now you got the coaster over there. That is a fun little spoiler alert. Something we'll be taking a look at pretty soon, I would imagine. I just got word that uh, the audio is starting to come together. So we should have a voice acted dueling coaster between the Pizza Bandit and Chief Beef in a, an upcoming episode here. So things have been pretty spicy throughout this series. We've had the uh, wooden coaster. We had the go-karts. We're going to have a dueling coaster soon. And I'm trying to get as many rides in as possible for you guys just to, uh, you know, break up the variety in the video styles so we're not just placing blueprints every single day <laughs> All right, they're all pulling in. I think it's time to race. We're going to have to grab a seat here. As much as I'd love to race them, I kind of just want to uh, enjoy the ride and look around. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know what seat we're going for. I guess seat five would make sense. Channel five gaming. <laughs> And uh, I guess I sit here in seat view like this and just have a look around. Let's uh, let's do that. Oh, wait, I have a custom song that I wanted to put on this. A Bitter Elegance song. Let me see if I could do that. Jump cut. All right, our custom song is attached. It is called One Love to Win. I think it was a fitting song for this. You guys can let me know if you think it works. I don't know if it's going to work until we try it right now. But if you guys like the song, check out The Bitter Elegance on Spotify. Links are down in the description below. Go give it a listen. Let's uh, let's see how the song works out on this coaster. Hopefully we can hear it, but uh, I'm just going to sit back and let the racers race. Oh. Cool. Wow. Look at this! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Look at what Bear did! Oh my god. Oh. Okay, well, we got we gotta we gotta switch to nighttime and do our victory lap. Cool. <laughs> oh my god! Project Playco! 
This is incredible. Can't control what I feel, wanting you to see. I would have never imagined it to turn out this cool. Oh no, what happened to the song? Oh, I guess the victory lap screws it up. I think what we're gonna have to do... We're gonna have to set this to a two-lapper. Because we want to see... We want to see these go-karts racing around the city as much as possible. And if they're constantly unloading and reloading, then, uh, you know, that it just it's just going to put a delay in how often you see the go-karts on the streets there. Right? Let's see if we can do that. Do I have to close it down to do that? I do. That's okay. You know, we, we got to see the go-karts. I think the song itself, we only got to listen to half of it. I kind of want to see. Let's let's let the go-karts start another circuit here. Here they go. Now, look at this. I raise my hand <laughs> and see your face. Then lightning strikes. They're racing around the streets. <laughs> That is amazing. So long to fill this alive. I dream that tonight you will be by my I could probably turn the song down the volume just a little bit. Let's go take a look at the sewers that Bear made. One love. One love to win. Wow. Got the pizza down here. Bear did an incredible job down here. So good. Love it. Yeah, the speakers might be a little too loud. <laughs> I, d I didn't know if the song could work or not, but I do think it's nice to have a song for the go-karts. Yeah, so underneath here, I can put it like 30% volume, just so you can only hear it while you're basically in the driver's seat. But, you know, it's not like this loud song driving through the city, right? Oh my God, that was so cool. I mean, seeing the go-karts going through the areas that we built here with all of the people's blueprints, that was the whole concept from the very beginning. You know, having the go-karts, the dueling coasters, take you through our community's creations. And when you actually get to see it unfold like that, what a joy. I mean, it's, it's everything that I thought it would be and more, you know? I I didn't know how this would turn out. I just had my fingers crossed <laughs> and uh, I am not disappointed. That was awesome. That was extremely cool. That's got to be one of the coolest go-kart tracks I have ever seen in Planet Coaster. Uh, I I'm not even tooting my own horn here because I didn't really have, I, I mean, all I did was set the foundation and then you guys, the community and all these builders did the rest. You know, Warm Guard laid out the circuits, Batch helped define the plots around it. You guys made all of the scenery that we're looking at. Bear made the boarding station and themed the actual go-karts there. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I said, this is kind of what I'm looking for. Let's see if you guys can pull it off. And you guys pulled it off uh, better than I could have ever imagined. So, yeah, definitely not tooting my own horn because I didn't really have a hand in, in any of this other than, you know, directing things a little bit. But for the most part, it's, it's you guys that get all the credit for this. You know, just driving through this main street like this, it would have been nice if this one building was in, but that's okay. Uh, this was so cool. And this one's still missing too but yeah once all of these builds are in it's gonna be fun to revisit these go-karts and see how that goes yeah see it's now it's not as loud so cool i love this song too This little kid's having a blast. Look at her go. Through all the muck. What I may even consider doing is editing the song.
a minute long version of the best parts of the song. I think that's definitely a good way to go. Let me know if you guys thought that was a fitting song or not. I know she's like talking about one love to win, but the love here is the racing. That is the idea here. Uh, the love for racing, I, th I just thought it was a lot of fun. So we are partnered with the Bitter Elegance. They are doing voice acting for us. They're providing music for us. We want to bring more audio and ambience to our park like never done before. Most music that you use is going to be very rudimentary, boring, copyright free music. Anything that has a soundtrack or a singer generally gets you flagged on YouTube and we have sorted out all those issues. So I think we want to make use of these amazing uh, artists where possible, but not overuse them either and make it uh, overwhelming. So with that said, we haven't really gotten a chance to do that yet. And I think the go-karts is a really cool opportunity to put that in there. Well, we'll have little bits of the music used throughout the park in certain areas, but very spread out and, and not over empowering because at the end of the day, we want uh, this to still feel like Project Planko. So we want to do some voice acting instead, try to give a voice to some of these characters. But I think that was great. I think the song makes it uh more alive and that was incredible i'm gushing over this <laughs> i should probably say bye now end the episode but uh i'm, I'm literally kind of like uh starstruck here i starstruck with what everyone has done seen it all to come together it's uh it's a special moment wow you guys definitely did a good job with all of this i'm proud of everybody that's participated in this pro project so far and this to me i guess i think this is episode 10 based off of how I've uh, scheduled things. Episode 10 is a bit of a milestone, and it just so happens I had this here to feature today. And wow, wow, what an incredible milestone this is. You know, you really guys get to see the park come to life with an attraction, some music, and it just really goes to show how things are, you know, shaping up. While this project will probably tank my computer in the long run, <laughs> We'll still we'll still be able to present it <clears throat> through cheat engine and various means and you know we'll still be able to uh explore the park and show you guys everything that it has to offer and it, and it should turn out just fine fingers crossed <laughs> but so far you know seeing seeing how things are going it just has me so excited so what a good milestone i have no idea what when this will come in the coasters but i'm thinking we might be able to get them in maybe episode 15 or something so a few few more episodes from now we could probably show off another big big milestone with uh we got to get the chief beef station in the pizza planet in then we attach the voice acting to the coasters and then we're pretty much set so yeah i'll probably just start continuing to do some more blueprint videos until those are ready and we'll hit we'll hit you guys with another massive coaster spotlight and that one should be interesting too as we have some really good voice audio to give both chief and the bandit <laughs> their own personalities and uh that's that's completely different than what we experienced here today with the go-karts and the song so I, i'm looking forward to that okay well let's give it up for bear guys show your love for him in the comments tell him how much you loved your uh, his creation we'll try to have links to these blueprints if you want to download them yourself or use them in your own parts that should all be in the uh, comments or uh, description down below and that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Project Planko, thank you guys so much for watching, and I, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. We'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.